All right, work in progress, January 3rd, 2020. All right, I know it's been a while, and uh, because it has, uh, I've been sick and I was on vacation and I was feeling kind of bummy, but I figured out I'd jump back in and uh, show you guys where I'm at and where we're going and what the future is for the channel. So this is a little bit of a hobby update and channel update. So these uh, these were the second set of Bushi for the Turtle Clan, the Rising Sun, Jason's Rising Sun guys, and these guys have actually been done for a while. I just haven't done a video about them, but there you go. Uh, yep, went for a uh, triadic color scheme to the secondary triadic this time. Uh, kind of figuring the, having the green be the unifying color between the units and also the, uh, the browns are the same so kind of crossover but these guys did uh, the purple and the green and the orange with the orange is the accent color and I don't know if you can let me see if I can zoom it in I tried on these little I like on this little face thing and on the uh, turtle shell on the back actually used some Vallejo metallic medium I've been playing around with this, making my own uh, True Metal Metallics. So I was doing that with the orange on this, and I enjoy how that came out. So these guys are done. So that means all six uh, Bushi for the Turtle Clan are now done. So the next set for the Turtle Clan will be I uh, primed up the Shinto and the um, Damio and these guys I did the whole Xenothal prime again with my airbrush but not I used the black surface primer and the white ink but I was running into some problems when I was trying to mix these guys to make them a gray tone. So I just, I went and I got some legit gray surface primer. And that seems to be working out for me. So with these guys, they're, uh, you can see the black underneath. And then there's some gray tones in there. And then from the top, I hit them with the white ink. And so we're going to be glazing over them. So the plan... For these guys is to do another secondary triadic so it's kind of like these guys but the only condition that Jason gave when he uh, gave me these guys to paint let me see if I, is that this little monk dude up here uh, needs to be Avatar Aang so his robes are gonna be orange and then they're gonna spill down across here so orange is gonna feature more prominently on these guys uh, I think green or maybe even purple is gonna end up being the accent color but I'll figure it out so that's the uh, Shinto's and then for the Damio I'm gonna try something funky I'm gonna go with a split triadic so I'm gonna keep I think orange as uh, yeah split triadic so I'm gonna keep the green in but then the accent color will be like a reddish orange and then the other color will be a turquoise. So we're gonna give that a try. Uh, but that's not what I'm working on next. Uh, I'm gonna take a break from these guys. I just primed them up because I was running the airbrush anyway, because our next project is going to be Cthulhu. <clears throat> and his star spawn. Uh, I picked up uh, Cthulhu Death May Die by Simon. And I am really excited about painting it. And so I uh, primed up Cthulhu. This is actually my second attempt. Again, I did it the first time with just the black. And then I tried mixing my own gray with the white ink. I hit it with the white and it didn't work out. So I did it with the gray. But you can see kind of the zenith all a little bit better on him. So that's pretty much black. And then you can see it transitions to gray. And then when you look at it from the top. Uh, you can see the white. I don't know how well you can see it, but I can see it pretty well. And I'm pretty excited about doing these guys. And uh, we're going to be doing quite a bit of underpainting and all that. I'm going to do a video for all of this. So um, I haven't been doing the daily videos because it just wasn't work. 
it, like logistically I could do them, but emotionally it wasn't doing it for me. So I'm going to be just recording the process of these guys and doing a complete video. And it's not even really gonna be a tutorial, it's gonna be just like, here's how I did it. And uh, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. So once that comes out, I'm gonna start working on these guys again, and then I'll probably do weekly updates on them just so Jason can see how his guys are progressing. <coughs> and then I'm full tilt into Death May Die. And I'll probably do like a video of the Haster box and then some progress videos of the other guys. I don't know. After I see how this one goes, I might decide if I'm just gonna shoot full videos for everything and just put them out when they're out, or if I'm just gonna do full videos of the stuff that is really interesting to me, and I'll just do updates on the rest. We'll see how it goes. So I don't know, week or two, hopefully within a month, you'll see a video of how I painted Cthulhu, and then you'll see some updates on these guys, and then we're gonna jump into the Death May Die box, and the plan is to paint through that until I get Project Elite in April. All right, that's what I'm working on. Why don't you let me know what you've been working on down in the comments below, and I'll talk to you later.